So people want reviews again. You gotta understand, I run a couple channels, like four or five. All the other Gunplay YouTubers probably only have one. Plus a Twitch stream, podcast, and I guest star on other people's podcasts. I'm a very busy guy. This is the Takumi Studio Sinanju Verka or Sinanju OVA version conversion kit. This is a plastic kit, which you don't see much of, but I think that plastic conversion kits will become the future and resin might take a back seat. I think there will always be a place for resin, but there's a good shot plastic could become the next big thing. It's a great kit. It's a great conversion kit. But when you build it, you need to pre-build it first, and then you have to redrill holes, uh, clean up a lot of areas, because this thing is a tight fit in some areas, and if you do not properly make up for the measurement and accuracies from the kit, you will only end up messing up your your kit. I think I broke two waist sections for the Sinanju, and luckily I had two extra section pieces left over. It sucked ass. The kit overall, it's beautiful, but it's a brick. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you paint this kit, the shield section, forget it. You put that shield thing on, you will not be able to get it off without scratching your kit. On top of that, this kit also makes some of the joint areas a little crappier. Like the arms, as you can see, just fall right out. Boom. It's like no resistance at all. It's not a major issue if you're the type of person that does not pose your kits often, which is the type of guy I am. I like to put them in one cool dynamic pose and not change it from anywhere from six months to a year. This is the first time I've touched a kit since I finished it. And I forgot how fragile some areas are. Like they just sort of pop out of place or something comes off. I really should have did some more modifications to this kit to make sure that armor bits stay in place. This, this is a gorgeous kit. It really is, but it is not a poser. Like, you cannot pose with this thing. You really have no range of motion for the back legs. The reveal armor gimmick, it's cool. It's nice. You know, it's the best way to put it. It's more than you got with the original. This kit was basically made to sort of fill the gap between the Sasabi Burka and the Sinanju Burka. And the sense of Sasabi had a whole lot of opening hatches and gimmicks and bits and bobbles. The sides and back skirts. Forget it, there's absolutely no play here. And if you're not careful, you will break the connector that goes to the tubing to the front skirts. So you really, really have to be careful. There is no room for error. And once it's on, it's on. It's not going to move. Don't think of any more poses. It's kind of over. Unless you do some heavy modifications. And at the time, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get another one of these, so I didn't risk it. Um, you get like a 40 degree angle of bend. That's it. There are back thrusters that open up. They look nice. It's all right. Nothing too amazing, nothing too terrible. It's kind of there and it's something decent. The leg hatch is open and they're supposed to be like independent. And uh, once again, this is kind of like a Sasabi sort of gimmick they added to Sinanju and it doesn't work. The shield, there isn't much to say about it other than it's beautiful. And the fitment of the gold and black kind of sucks. That's another thing. The gold is free electroplated. It's some of the best I've seen thus far. I put it on par with some of Bandai's offerings. It's nice, but the fitment between the electroplate and the black parts suck. Needs modification. Some parts just won't go all the way in and you'll find yourself fighting it. And you gotta be careful or you'll break the black parts. Oh. And this kit is back heavy to the max. You're going to need to stand for it always and forever. The original tubing that came with the Sinanju is a little on the short side. So the back skirts will pull the front skirts so they kind of open up. If you've got custom tubing from uh, Wave, I believe, you could have more extended tube wire. And this would lead to a bit more free play in the front skirts. The cockpit does not open as originally intended. And you get the bottom to open the top, not so much. That's kind of over. But the whole point of this kit is not to be looking into the cockpit, in all honesty. You're looking at this thing because it's a complete and utter unit. It looks badass just standing there. And that's pretty much the selling point. If you're buying this conversion kit, you're getting it because you want this kit to look sick 
doing nothing or next to nothing. And that's the best way I could put it to you, man. Like, really, it's nice. But if you're one of those people like to pose your kits, it is not for you at all. For size comparison, here is, is the original Sinanju or the Sinanju Stein narrative version next to the Sinanju Stein Takumi Studios conversion kit. This is a little bit of an unfair comparison because I put the Stein on the Action Base 1, which is a little bit taller than the Action Base 4, making the Sinanju Stein look taller than it actually is. I really should have done something to even this out, but I haven't slept and I'm ready for bed. But overall, the Takumi Studio version is actually taller than the Shinanju original version by about a head and a shoulder. If you're interested in bigger kits, this is definitely going to tickle your fancy. Now to end it all here, beautiful kit. I like it very much. And it really depends on your aesthetic tastes and choices. Do you like over the top third party designs? If so, you are going to absolutely love the Takumi Studio Kit. And if lovingly painted, it can look even more badass than it looks out of the box. Oh, a lot of the hatch gimmicks don't work well. Parts pop off. Some parts get stuck. Some parts don't even fit. So it's going to require a lot of work on your end to make it work. But, you know, if you are buying something like this, you're probably already familiar with the ins and outs of resin kits or conversion kits as a whole or third party kits. You know that when dealing with these, it takes a bit more patience, a bit more skill to make it work. Overall, I would recommend it if you're into this. If you don't like the head, keep the original. The shield mechanic, I think, is also great, better than the original. It's got more range of movement, kind of like the new Gundam Verka, where you can like maneuver it around. I didn't show it off here, but the shield, as far as the St. Andrew Stein narrative, is locked in one place. And the connection is absolutely garbage, but this shield connection is fantastic. In fact, it's a little too good, because getting it to detach from Shinanju's arm will chip your paint, even if you do urethane paint clear coats. So that's how tight it is. God, it was a pain in the ass to get on, so I didn't even bother taking off. And that's it for me. Sorry about the lighting. I'll upgrade my camera later, and then I'll be able to put a monitor on it and really get a good look at how things are going, and we'll use better key lights and whatnot. But I was super tired, and I figured if I don't do this now, I won't remember to do it later. 